2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Washington Wizards. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Harlow. With me, Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And as always, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, joining us from the sidelines. And now, Washington's starting group. And for the Cavaliers, we'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. And so off the tip, it's Washington's ball. Just five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Misses the wing three. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is, which end does it happen on offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. And so here's Cleveland following the three-pointer by Washington. And they call an illegal screen. Illegal That's great. screen by the He's going to draw a whistle Washington every time ball. down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Let's it go from deep. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. It's tipped. Another one Number falls zero. for Washington. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. The shot, no good. Washington's gone two or three for deep so far in this game. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. For three. And it's rebounded by Cleveland. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Takes it in. They need this. He takes it up and lays it in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions Too like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You will gladly take those. Nice ball movement by Washington. Just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. There's a minute 47 left in the first. Launches a three, hits the three point bomb. I know what they say defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. That's good from 
17 feet away. Found some space to get off the mid range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. in the first. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Pass to Freeman. They get the rebound. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Shooting gets the bucket anyway, so a three point play. Chance for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. The Wizards getting their first free throw of the game here. Number zero, one shot. The Cavaliers trail by eight. A ten foot. I'm shot is good that time. Spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Three second difference between shot clock and game. And no good. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The shot. No good. Fires from way outside. And so it's Washington with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. Right back after this break. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Washington. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing unselfishly. It's good on the putback. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive play. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. So on the four for Washington. Pulls up. The wing jumper off target. Right at the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Washington foul, number seven, is first. First team foul. Washington's gone three to seven tonight from three-point territory. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, what's going to enable the retooled Wizards to take the next step? Coach Wes Unsell Jr. said, I think the biggest thing is the fit. A better fit helps the competitive spirit, the connectivity. The guys get the big picture. But the most important thing is winning. Kevin, he thinks that mindset is starting to take hold. I think it is. Building that culture is so important. David, thanks. And the clock. Fires it up. And again, it's Cleveland. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rule. Did you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. I like the former idea. Uh, that seems less extreme. The Cavaliers trailing. 
Cleveland moving the ball around. Three on three. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Cleveland shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And at the line, at the line last season, Cleveland. about 70 as a team. Two shots. Pretty solid numbers. And he makes both free throws. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Ball's not loose. And here's the fast break. Let's it go with the three. It's good from long range. He's got five. They wouldn't want all of their guys shooting a three on the break, but when it's him, he's got the green light. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 156 left in the first half of basketball. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. And it's a three-point Cavalier lead. And that's why you don't let them get positioned deep in the post. And they need better team defense. How about your man in the post? It takes multiple guys to stop him. Floater. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. And it's good Number off the back of the rim. And it is. Number zero. 106 left to play here in the half. Can't cash in from close range. Washington's gone 0-2 from deep here in the side. And the call first on off. the shot Number sends two. him to the line. His first, first team you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. For Washington, they have shot Washington. just one free throw Number early. Three. One for one in the At game. The line for two. First one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first half. Looks good. It is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Four. They get a hand on it. He's got 10. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Off target with the fadeaway. And that'll do it for the first half. Of the game so far. Cowboys are clear. 25. The Wizards. And now, 24. the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They lead by one point. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? They're running a smooth offense tonight, creating high-quality shots. Motion, sharp. Sharp as a laser. 
Their spacing is excellent. They're moving the ball well. I love the way they do. Jack, what was your takeaway on? And now with the second half about. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Cavaliers leading. There's the three. And another three for Cleveland. Oh, just a beautiful textbook bounce pass. We love to see it. And for the Wizards. Knocked away. For the three. Sinks the three-pointer. The real three points. come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. The three. Washington with the rebound. Misses from short range. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. The offensive rebound. And he hits it and gets hacked down the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Defensive. And you got to love the big number 13. in the paint. And this sort of first first out game. First the Cavaliers shoot their third free throw attempt of the game. At the line for your Cavaliers. Number 74. One shot. Wizards trailed by four. 90 seconds now into the second half. Number, five. Number three is third. First team foul. Just four to shoot. Well, he bailed him out with that one. The shot clock was low. You got to just play straight up. Foul. That is not the time to take a foul. Makes it off the glass. 11 points in the game. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Takes the three. Rebound by the Wizards. From deep three-point territory. No good on the shot. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Out to the right wing. From the low block. Comes up empty down low. Washington trailing. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. For the tie, he nails it. We're tied up. His performance today has just been so important. What a luxury to have a guy that's that dependent. Up Two, the minutes. Alley pass. Two minutes. For the lead. And he sinks the layup. Okay. And the Wizards lead by two. Defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. Sinks the triple. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck of that game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. 
In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. The layup missed. Cleveland's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. The shot from 20 feet away. It's hauled in by the Cavaliers. And he's very confident from that range. But you can't make him out. 47 seconds left to play here in the third. Connects in the foul line jumper. 17 points in the game. Wizards trailed by three. And another miss by Washington. The Cavaliers have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Pulls it from the elbow. And no, Cleveland no. again with the bucket. Assist. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat that I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. To halt the run. No good that time. And that's, that's going to do it for the third quarter. With the score. Cleveland ahead. Your five. Players. Look at the fourth quarter. The They're rolling right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. A three. A shot that time, not on target. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, that's it right now. He's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. And for Washington, stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance pocket. Target good. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. 19 points in the game. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lake. Washington calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Guys, I had a chance to find out what Wes Ensel Jr. discussed with his players. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, guys. Okay, David, thanks. A stupendous finish in traffic. And now it's a nine-point Cavalier lead. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. to shoot and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run number 13 my goodness he is such a great dunk Greg a high riser no doubt about it no good from 18 
Wizards trailed by seven. Headshot off. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Stolen. And here we go. Boom! He chains it straight down. Such opportunistic basketball right there. And that's when they desperately needed it. Fires the three. Washington with the rebound. Tipped away. Two minutes, Around three minutes, minutes gone minutes. here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. And finally they hit one. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Cleveland. Great heads up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And also, they, they continue to take advantage on the offensive glass. Those extra possessions paying off their second chance points. Fourth quarter of this one. He drains it from beyond the arc. He's just stretching him out. Well, the defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digit. Chalk up two there. Oh, textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're up by eight. And there's 117 left the here in the fourth quarter. The and now let's present our new balance your player of the game. And I love that it's been a hard charge performance. His jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. it from outside this man has entered the zone great shooting performance from him all game long 30 seconds left to play in the final quarter rebound by the Wizards I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap yeah they fought as hard as they could just wasn't in the cards tonight a heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket.